Hey y'all, Shooting Star SVG back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be working in PhotoP, which is a free online editor, and I'm going to show y'all how to make a glitter pattern with PhotoP. Um, I think this is kind of cool. We've talked about glitter fill recently, and I was wondering how in the world they get this awesome glitter pattern. So I decided to go out there and figure it out, and I implemented it here, and here we go. So make sure you have your background set to white. You're going to go to filter, noise, add noise. And you're going to check on monochromatic because you want to make sure it's gray. And then just kind of slide it until you get to where you want. Some people do like 50%. I'm going to go ahead and do about, I don't know, maybe 70. That's what 50 looks like. So um, I want a little bit more granularity. And you can mess around with it as you go through. Um, and you can see it's kind of starting to take shape. You're going to unlock your background, go to blending options. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed a step. Go to pixelate and crystallize. Here you want to get your desired glitter shape. So I like to do a smaller cell count, I usually do three. I think that's as low as you can go. And you can see that our glitter pattern is starting to take shape. So the next thing you're, want to, you're going to want to do is go to blending options and go to multiply. Okay. What this is going to do is make your next layer a little bit darker, and you're just going to go and click Duplicate Layer. But we're not done here. We want to go ahead and select this layer, and we're going to want to go ahead and free transform it so that you can uh, move it 90 degrees counterclockwise, or negative 90 degrees. So when you uh, click on this, you can go ahead and right-click and click on Free Transform. I had multiple layers selected. My bad and click on free transform and then you can just see up there there's a little angle area and then you can just type in negative 90 and you'll see the glitter start to take shape so we're just going to go ahead and do that again duplicate layer and we're going to right click on it and click free transform and do that negative 90. you can do this as many times as you'd like but i find that when you have um three layers that seems to be um, enough to get the desired effect. So I'm pretty happy with this. The next thing you're wanna, gonna wanna do is go to a new adjustment layer as a color fill, and you can change that color to whatever you see fit. And for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick like a purple color for now. And you're going to wanna change the blending mode on this, and you're gonna pick color burn. And you can see that it went ahead and we have this really pretty glitter effect on this paper, which is super cool. And you can change the color of this as you see fit since you did add that extra color fill layer so that you're not having to like go through and do this for each color. So if we wanted to do green or like an aqua or like fuchsia, or a yellow, you can see how that works. And it's really easy to create like multiple papers at once. And then you're just gonna wanna go ahead and export that as a JPEG. Make sure your quality is 100%. And then you can see that it's downloaded down there and double click um, to open it up, depending on what browser you're running. And you can see what your little paper will look like. This is not a full size 12 by 12, which is what most are sold at. Um, you can do it in 12 by 12 and the steps will be the same. Uh, if you go and add this as a new pattern, you can add it to, um, I don't know why this keeps popping up. You can add it to text and other things to fill. So I'm just gonna show you how that works. You're gonna wanna create a new document and type out like whatever, words you want to type out just to test this out i'm just gonna go ahead and type in hello glitter and i'm gonna go up and change the font type to something a little bit thicker obviously you're not going to get the same kind of effect with a thinner font it just doesn't really work like that so i'm gonna go ahead and oh i forgot to select the text <laughs> not with it today i didn't get a lot of sleep my kids had me up so Go ahead and make that bigger, uh, not too big, and uh, go ahead and change the text type. 
to something a little bit thicker. Um, these are all the, the preloaded fonts in uh, Inkscape, which they do, I mean, Photopea, which they do have quite a lot. So we're just going to choose this dank one. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to your um, your text layer and you're going to want to right click on it and go to blending options and then you're going to want to go down to pattern overlay remember we set that glitter that we saved as a pattern and you're just going to want to go ahead and click on that and then you'll see that it's been inserted into your font um, you can do this with shapes fonts whatever you create on the screen there and i'm just going to go ahead and show you um, that process one more time we're going to change the color to like a bluish color or a purplish color whatever you want to consider that as and then you're just going to go to edit transform i'm sorry define new pattern and you'll see that it says pattern added and you're just going to go through the same process where you right click go to blending options and then you should be able to click the drop down uh, go to pattern overlay i'm sorry and you should be able to go and click on that new pattern and then it'll fill the text and so you can see it gives it a really cool effect uh, i really like using this for uh, aesthetic reasons um, it's really good for like web design and things like that and like i said the cool thing is is you can change that color fill really to anything that you want um, and it's just kind of like a neat effect for you to be able to use and of course you can put these together in packages and sell them um, clearly you can play around with different types of noise and distortion and see what kind of things you can get. I'd be curious to see those kinds of things. Um, it would be really cool uh, for me to see what kind of things y'all create with this. But if you like this tutorial, feel free to go ahead and hit subscribe below. Uh, I try to make these fairly often so you guys can learn pretty easy ways to do things for free. This being one of them. And you can utilize them in your designs that you sell on your Etsy or whatever other digital store you might have. Or you can go ahead and join my Facebook group where I post a lot of these updates. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions or concerns about going through this process. I hope you all have a great day.